welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me today. Today I'm actually going to talk about creating a backdrop and the use of a backdrop in a room. So sometimes you will find that your reception hall, uh, depending on what you pick, has a wall that you just can't stand or a wall that just takes away from the beauty of the room and it might be overpowering at times. And so I've worked in a couple of rooms where I actually get really excited when I have to cover up an ugly wall. Why? Because um, I normally find that the client will panic and ask me lots of questions about how am I going to set it up? Will they incur any costs in case of damages to the wall, ceiling, or windows or anything like that? And I always mention I'm not going to touch anything. Um, structural I bring in all my equipment and my equipment is what I use to set up the backdrop um, and every time each and every single time that I set up the backdrop I always get the same reaction which is oh wow I could never have visioned it this way and it's 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 a beneficial way to add the backdrop because what the backdrop does is it creates a focal point it creates a soft wall and it covers up everything that you don't want to be seen so you can do a full room draping or you can do a partial wall draping or you can do do just a focal area it could be 10 feet or 20 feet it really depends on your budget and how much you really want to invest on the backdrop my number one tip that i would say if you're looking to add a backdrop to your event uh, reception hall is take make sure that you take your designer or event designer with you so that you can do a site visit and during the site visit you can determine your goal and what you want to accomplish out of it is it that you want to work with a full wall draping an entire room of draping you want to add um, ceiling draping everything that you want to envision take your designer with you to your reception hall or location so that you're looking exactly what you need for the day the most important thing is always to take measurements so that on the day of setup you're not getting any surprises so you want to know the exact length of how much um, you're going to be draping so is it going to be 10 feet 30 feet 40 feet 70 feet 100 feet how many feet is it exactly that you're going to be covering then you want to make sure that you're going to know the height as well how high are you going to go in that room um, you want to go as high as you can because that's what's going to take away from the, um, especially when you're covering an ugly wall, you want to cover it as maximum as possible. Um, if you're creating a transition space, so changing from one room to another, so you can do partial draping there or an entranceway draping. Entranceway draping creates another focal point and it also softens up the entrance. And here we're tying in one room into another. So we created that transition with the draping leading to the other room. Um, because all the tables didn't fit in one room. And of course we do not, we don't do any structural changes. So we're not going to be removing any walls. Um, we created that entranceway archway so that um, it could unify both rooms together and create a sense of one event. So you will see that in the second room that we used um, LED lighting to transition the room as well. And this, the client is able to pick what color they want with the LED lighting. So this room has transformed from, I would say, ugly wall, um, ugly section full of extra chairs, tables, not even sure what color paint that was, to a beautiful room that's well designed and ready for your special day. Thank you for watching my video. Remember to like the video, add a comment if you have questions. I'll be happy to answer. Also, remember to subscribe to my channel so that you do not miss the next videos that I post. And remember to tap the bell so that you get notified once a new video has been uploaded.